I work three jobs. Mainly, the obvious short answer is because I have to, right? I'm pretty sure just like you, you have bills that have to get paid. Um, if you want to survive, depending on the lifestyle you live, um, I'm working on living below my means, um, but we have to survive. I mean, in order to survive, you have to have a job, at least one, um, if you're lucky. Um, but I don't take for granted being able to work. Um, I know in my, my previous videos, I don't, I don't want to come off that way. It's definitely a blessing, and I'm most grateful to be able to work. I know I had a conversation excuse me, with somebody who essentially is disabled, right? So when you speak to just different people and you hear their perspectives that are shared, I definitely appreciate you for that. Um, if you've ever shared, um, it really opens up my mind um, to things um, and to the world. So I just kind of am trying to figure out, right? <clears throat> Like, what's going on with the economy? Everybody's talking about the economy and, like, how bad it is, especially where you live, right? It's just the economy this, the economy that, and, and how bad it is. And I'm trying to create my own path, my own business, right? Trying to cut down all the work, the time that I'm putting into the nine-to-five jobs. Um, I even took a, a pay deduction which I'm starting to have second thoughts about just because, you know, in speaking with the community and even um, people within my family um, and friends are just saying, like, you know, I'm going to be in for a rude awakening when I get my paycheck. So um, it just goes to tell you, like, how much things cost. And maybe I don't have a firm grasp or true understanding of it, even though I hear it all the time. And I want your honest opinion here because, and, and hear me out on this, um, I know you're going to let me have it probably, but we have to work in some way, shape, or form. I understand that. But the percentage of us that are not entrepreneurs or pursuing some type of uh, business plan or, or self, self-driven self business, right, I feel like it's way too low. I feel like the majority of us, myself included, right, we're afraid it one 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 of these boats, right? Either afraid, scared, uh, nervous, right? You don't have the, the proper means and opportunities. I get that, but we have to be able to work towards it to get it. It is attainable. So don't use that and use that as an excuse or like some type of laziness. Um, I don't believe there's really a, a real like excuse or reason for the majority of us to not try to do this. I get we all can't be entrepreneurs. I definitely get that. I've had conversations uh, with people about it because I was on the other side, right? Like if we're all entrepreneurs then who's going to work, but my, my argument or I challenge you to think about this. If we increase the amount of us that are actually pursuing and become entrepreneurs and we start our own businesses, right, and we do it the right way, right, uh, we treat people how you want to be treated, how I want to be treated, then the employees, people who are okay and, you know, God gave them, they're perfectly content with working as an employee because us as the business owner are paying them enough to be satisfied and take care of their families, right? And we're going to treat them with respect and as decent human beings. So we're then bettering the workforce in these companies and then the, the perspective and literally how the corporate world works and operates because we're doing it the right way by us becoming owners and businessmen in the entre on the entrepreneurship side. So as I was just thinking of like, man, like what, how, how can I say this to you. That's what I'm trying to to get here. That's the point that I'm trying to make when I say that we all need to tap into being entrepreneurs because the percentage of us that are actually do it, especially do it successfully in the right way, then we're able to help everybody else under. And then even like the pyramid type scheme type jobs, like I don't even like using those words, right? We'll have to make a new new term for it 
because it won't be like the old traditional pyramid scheme type. Because if you're working for me and then you want to branch off and make your own from what I already kind of have established for us, then you're able to do that and start your own branch of ownership from you working and collaborating with me. It's a, I'm going to help you. Um, there's too many times, um, I won't get too much into specific cultures and communities. Um, I'll just leave it as human being to human being. Oftentimes we are always, it's easy to, you know, I'm going to put my foot on your shoulder. I'm going to offer you my foot so I can use it to step up and boost myself, my positioning, my leveling, instead of reaching out a helping hand to bring the, the, the person that's under you up, bring them up to speed. Not everybody was given the same opportunities. Obviously, not everybody capitalized on those opportunities. Some of us maybe only got two, three, four, maybe five opportunities. We we went 0 for 5, and here we are, while others went 5 for 5. Others went 1 for 1. Some may not even have got, they could try to pitch an argument that they never really had a truly good opportunity. Um, you know, that's you know that's tough, but I like to look at all perspectives. And the point is, we have to be more, or we should be more sensitive to that, and we should be more willing to help instead of hate. And we should um, try to always look to help. I feel like that give it a helping hand is just like, it's almost dead and it's sad. We should be looking to help each other instead of bringing each other down and understand that everybody isn't on the equal, everyone isn't on an equal uh, playing field. Um, if you didn't know that, um, but just food for thought, at what point did working one job not become enough? I hear uh, people telling me, right, within the community how they could do all these things. I know my, my grandpapa, he didn't tell me too much about what he could do, but he, was, he would always tell me stories about how going to the movie theater only cost a nickel. So at what point in time truly, like what truly changed to where now we have, some of us have to work multiple jobs just to be able to provide for our families? Um, you know, I'm not one to, to say, oh, you don't have to work hard. I'm all about the, if you don't work, you don't eat. I'll put in the work. Um, I just want to work smarter, not harder. That's all. And I know people who write, who put in the work, who have all the degrees, have all the debt, just like me, unfortunately, and they're still not happy. So it's like, I'm going to put in the work and I'm going to do these things. I'm going to further educate myself. But I don't want to be on the side of still uh, not being at, at peace, at true peace, still being unhappy. I don't want to be faking it or just because, you know, I'm able to afford more things that I want and be able to provide more for my family deep down inside. I'm still not truly happy or at peace. I definitely don't want to be one of those people either. Again, I work three jobs because I have to, but I don't want you to lose the value and the key points um, and why. I'm sharing this with you because you have to stay encouraged. You have to have a good why, your reasons to why you're working. Um, make a plan, um, a plan that's going to work for you. Um, it, I'm, I'm in it right now. Currently, I'm getting ready to, and I'm going to share with you in upcoming videos. Uh, I got to write down all my debt. It's kind of embarrassing if I'm going to be honest, but I had to make a plan and I had to stop, you know, just I've been looking at lots of videos, doing studying here and there, and just really beating around the bush. I have to make a plan. Just like if you're in a similar situation, you have to make a plan because I'm working three jobs because I have to. Um, but I could also pitch an argument. I'm working three jobs because I haven't applied myself the right way in life. Now that I'm getting the knowledge and I'm learning where I messed up at and how to move forward. And I'm definitely going to be sharing, being transparent, my story with you. Um, a lot of people, I feel like, have a lot of debt or have been through a lot of things. Um, and they're in the situation and they don't know how to get themselves out. Everybody shows you the finished product. But I don't feel like there's a lot of people showing you, hey, this is where I'm at, messed up. And I'm going to get there and I'm going to show you right here every single day, day for day, step for step. 
And I definitely hope that it can work for you. And God willing, it's going to work for me. Never lose sight of your dreams and understand that business is just business. So when it comes to work, don't, you know, it is literally just business. Um, it, I dislike to have to really say it like that. But until again, like I said earlier, until we can get on that side of it, until we be, can become a lender and not a borrower, we'll be able to uh, treat our employees and run better business establishments and it won't have to feel that way at least not in my business establishment it will not be that way at all it won't feel that way it'll be genuine it'll be real a nine to five job is just a pit stop don't forget that um you're not going to uh be working this job forever especially if you're a believer um just on the grand grand scheme of things um even if you're happy and content with your job here on earth Either way you want to put it, uh, I'm viewing a nine to five job now is just a means to an end because I know I have bigger, bigger dreams. I know where my goals and where I'm headed. I won't let anything deter me of that um, unless God has a different plan, a different purpose um, that he literally tells me. Um, I just know the job, the nine to five. I just have to continue to improve, uh, not overthink it. Uh, not be overly committed or loyal if that's not where I'm meant to be.